Hello and welcome back to Tommy Time. I'm back out working on the Honda E 1500 generator that I just picked up for 10 bucks at a barn sale. I took the tank off last night and I have the fuel petcock soaking now. I was able to get it to move to the on and off position but I'm finding that um, looking online for parts this is discontinued you can't get this anymore so I've got a bad washer here bad gasket the fuel little bowl here looks like it's cracked the fuel strainer in the tank broke off and is floating around in the tank so that's an issue <clears throat> so I've restored quite a few different motorcycle tanks in the past and I have a couple of pet cocks here that may do the job there's generally two sizes of pet cocks for these metal tanks there's a 34 millimeter pet cock you measure from the center of each hole you got a 34 and then also you have a 44 from center of the hole to center of the hole so those are generally the two sizes you're going to find a 34 and a 44 millimeter pet cock so this one here has got the bowl built into it this is just a free flow gravity feed pet cock so I may try to get one of these two to work the only uh, difference probably would be the size that it would drop from the bottom of the tank so that would be the only thing that would hinder me I think either one of these would work and just eyeballing it it looks like it it uh, the holes would match up on the, this uh, these two style pet cocks so <clears throat> you can buy these aftermarket they're a dime a dozen so I'm not going to bother with trying to rectify that pet cock I'll go ahead and put a aftermarket one on <clears throat> So let me see if I can show you the inside of the tank here. It's probably not light enough, but it's kind of kind in rough condition. My other alternative would be to buy a secondary tank. A lot of the China generators have like a five gallon tank so what I could possibly do is mount it on top of the the handles here I've got a place to to mount here if I had to I could rig something up and just let it gravity feed into the carburetor I may go that route it's uh, about 35 bucks for a red china five gallon tank so this thing is sat for 24 hours after I clean the carburetor let's go ahead and see what it'll do right now I've got my secondary fuel tank over there it won't take much fuel to start it. Let's see what it'll do. Full choke and left handed.
so I'm happy with that. My brother sent me a PDF file after he saw my initial video last night. So the original owner's manual was printed in 1977, so this is a late 70s, early 80s model generator. It came with a tool kit initially. The dry weight is 105 pounds. It is a heavy booger. The, they recommend uh, only a 30 minute run time at the maximum 1500 watts and then down to um, 1250 watts there on out. They don't want you running it at the full 1500 watt capacity. That tank is a 2.4 gallon tank and um, the DC output I'll, I'll show you that. I'll bring you down a little bit. There we go. Initially when you bought the generator new there'd be a, a, a cord that plugged into your DC power outlets here and it would wrap around this hook and so what that's for is for charging car batteries. So it'll put out 8.3 amps, which is quite beefy. Um, I think the standard battery charger for a car is a 10 amp charger, so 8.3 is not shabby at all. So I may rig up some leads here with some alligator clips and wrap it around this hook if I ever needed to charge a car battery in a pinch without any uh, home power I could do it with this unit um, I guess that's about it kinda happy it started the after a 24 hour rest that's always a good thing. Must mean I did a good job on the carburetor. So there you go. Thanks for coming back and checking out this Honda unit. I'll let you know what I do with the tank if I get an aftermarket tank or try to salvage this original one. Thanks and have a good week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.